This is an amphora. Clay vessels like this have been used for thousands of years throughout much of the world. Today, there's an exciting movement focused on these vessels, taking place on California's central coast in San Luis Obispo County. Experimenting is, you know, always uh, an important facet of, of making wine. We call this the Wild West, right? It's very much um, an area where people could come and do whatever they wanted. There was no rules. So who were those first early winemakers? How did they discover and then hope to replicate the process of fermentation? When the first uh, individuals who were the winemakers, it could be men or women, women probably, because they're out, you know, gathering the fruit, and they uh, would have seen the juice starting to bubble. You know, <laughs> yeah, the carbon dioxide is coming off, and it's just, you know, roiling and mixing around, and, you know, this would be like something you know, otherworldly. The clay vessels Amphora used to ferment, store, and transport wine became the impetus for a thriving wine culture. The Amphora are intriguing because they're so old, it's quite reliable what effect they're going to have. They're fragile. I'd seen a, a couple of uh, pictures of some Amphora disasters from other winemakers. We have six. Used to have seven, now one's a planter. The terracotta amphora, or jara as we know it, they're made with the technica of Colombino. The roll of clay is uh, applied little by little with the operator going around the base of the amphora. If you're going to somehow set yourself apart or do something unique or enjoy yourself, like do something that's interesting and it's different. I recognize more and more the validity of the statement that life is about the journey and the process and the adventure and the disappointments and all of it combined than it is about a particular destination or a goal or achievement. Trying to figure out wine is exactly the same thing. I mean, what could be more fun than spending your whole life opening bottles, hoping to, hoping to find that answer?